G'day guys, Cade Turner here, all the way from Australia, coming at you live from Warwick HQ in Germany. Today I am bloody excited because I get to demo these two friggin' awesome Warwick CV streamers, and they're both passive, full passive, pickups and pre, and what's really cool about that is it's new territory for me. So I've had a little bit of a play around with them. The one thing that stood out to me on both these these bad boys is the fact that you can dial in a vintage sound to a modern sound instantly at the click of a fingers which is really fucking cool so both these bases feature maple necks super light super clear super snappy sitting on these beautiful maple necks is two rosewood fingerboards kind of new territory for me so really fucking cool they sound beautiful they feel even better both the bases are a bolt-on construction. They both have a swamp ash body, full passive MEC single coil J style pickups and full passive MEC preamp. You have a volume volume blend for front and rear pickup. You can fully have them both on, fully have the front on or the rear on, really cool. And you have your treble and bass tone pots or tone knobs wherever you are in the world or whatever you call them. They come in a variety of color options, but the one I'm holding on my right is a natural satin and the one on my left is a burgundy red satin. Both bases feature Warwick's Just Nut 3, which makes it really fucking easy to grab an allen key and raise and lower your string heights whenever you need to wherever you may need to they both feature invisible fret technology which for those of you that may not have used it I suggest trying it because I don't think you'll turn back because it makes your fretting hand slide up and down the neck smoothly and I'd call a super sexy feature of these bases now both these passives feature Warwick's 3d bridge Bridge, which makes it super easy to adjust intonation, raise or lower individual string heights at the saddle, and another cool feature is raise or lower the bridge together or favorably to your G string side or your E string side or B string on the five, whichever you may need. Super versatile, super easy to use, and I may be biased, but I think a really fucking cool design. Now, Take a look at the pick guard on these puppies. Fucking amazing, beautiful looking vintage style. I really like it. Now, another cool feature of these bases, and I'm going to attempt to spin them around without dropping them. A little bit nervous because they're so schmick and brand new, is the cavity control compartment cover that is super easy accessible fast you don't need tools and I really like that feature about them too for the tone purists or realists that want to know exactly how we're getting this sound it's just pure passive bass straight into a cable straight into the Warwick Gnome iPro 600 head and the Warwick Gnome cabs so starting out with the mighty five streamer really really cool I've had a little bit of time to play around with it and had to play with what does or doesn't seem to work just purely from my natural aggressive style of playing. Um, it is a passive bass. In saying that, it will take anything you throw at it and it'll deal with it really fucking well. So let's just get into a sound demo example first up with full pickup blend as in both of them are on 100% and both tone knobs are up full. Let's bloody get into it. Awesome. So, hope you enjoyed that. I did. Sounds like a beast, especially that low B cuts through. Going to leave the tone knobs up full now and going to just be on the back pickup. After that, I'm going to play the same riff on the front pickup alone, just to give you an example or an understanding, I should say, of a uh, massive versatile range that this bass has. Let's bloody do it. All right, 
I bloody liked that. Now we're heading to the front pickup. Let's go. I really enjoyed those last few and uh, pretty sure I'm going to enjoy this one as well. What I'm going to do is give both pickups up full and I'm going to roll the treble knob off all together. So let's do it. really bloody digging this so what I'm going to do now is just slow finger style chords to really really emphasize the pure tone of this bass going to go off the back pickup going to have the treble tone knob off completely and bass will be up full and the front pickup you know will be redundant but I'm sure it'll survive let's do it <laughs> Rightio, now the four string. What an absolute weapon. The five's really good. I just fell in love with this in the switch over transition period. I'm pretty bloody keen to do some uh, sound demos with it. So I'm going to give you a little slap riff demo of this fucking beast now and both pickups are going to be up full tone knobs are going to be up full this is a little original riff of mine i really like it i hope you like it and uh i'm about to show you it let's go <laughs> What I'm going to do now is give a sound example on just the front pickup, back pickup zero, zilch, won't be used, and the tone knobs will be up on full. I have to show you the versatility of this thing. The soundscape of this thing between these pickup blends is fucking massive. Let's go. Rightio, now let's do that with the same settings but move to the back pickup and let's go. Awesome, bit of a vintage sound now, a bit of soft playing, just on the back pickup and tone knobs completely off. So we're about to wrap up, but I uh, had a little chat with Patrick behind the lens and thought I just want to add another riff in, a little bit of a slap padang, if you will. <laughs> Everything's up full. Let's just bloody do it.
As I already mentioned, these bases come in a multitude of colors. They also come with the fretted or fretless option. I'm Cade Turner from Australia here at Warwick HQ. Thanks again for sticking around. Really bloody hoped you enjoyed this video and the tonal possibilities with these bases. And we'll bloody see you on the next one. Thank you.